Welcome to Board Games and Chill. I'm Nathan. I'm Jerome. And I'm Gabriella. So today, uh, we're going to do some... What's, what's, it's a trend. A trend. It's yeah. a certain Facebook yeah. trend mm -hmm. that's been going on. Uh, it basically says who you are, what do you do, where do you live, what did you discover about board games, and why do you love this hobby? Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's an old joke, sorry. <laughs> Don't ever let that happen again. <laughs> Insert the buttons here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, Jerome, do you want to start off? Sure. Um, I'm Jerome. Awesome. Uh, I'm a jack of all <laughs> trades, master of none. Um, I'm a geek. I'm a country boy. Uh, TV enthusiast, zombie fanatic, uh, board game geek. Um, I'm an average Joe, a web nerd, um, fun with guns. Um, yeah. The yeah. list goes on and on. Yeah. I can. I can literally go on about myself. I like talking about me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm an average nerd. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's me. Love it. So uh, you want to do like the what do you do and where do you Oh, live? we're going to go through a whole list? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought we were going to go one one at a time. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about you, Jerome. Give us your yeah. spiel. Mm -hmm. um, Go ahead, continue talking what, about yourself. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I've held many jobs. Uh, I was a farmer, a ranch hand. Um, I worked in as a butcher, uh, as a chef, as a librarian. Um, currently, I work in the wholesale automotive industry. Um, awesome. And that's what I do to pay bills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try to pay bills. Mm -hmm. Um... Where do I live? I live in the backwoods of Covington, Georgia. I live on 13 acres on a lake. Um, it's an amazing, amazing place. I love the backwoods life, the, yeah. the country life. Uh, I have a little bit of city boy in me, but I just, <laughs> I like being off in the woods. Um, yeah, I don't know about them, but I'm reading off of the script here because it's, <laughs> it's easier for me. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you discover board games? Um, I started role playing in 2005, maybe. Um, we played White Wolf, um, uh, Mage the Ascension, and Vampire the Masquerade. Um, about a few years later, 2010, I started playing Shea Geek and Munchkin, and then Catan after that. <laughs> um, some the really, classics, yeah. yeah, some really classic games. What at the time we considered modern board games. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, 2019, I I met some real gamers, <laughs> and they showed me some even more modern classics. What uh, was the first game I showed you, Jerome? Uh, the first <laughs> game you you played with me or taught me was Thunderstone Quest. And then later that night we played Nemesis. Yeah, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, yeah. It was very intimidating, but very fun. That definitely yeah. sounds like a game night with Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Seriously, that is a Nathan game yeah. night. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. well, you know, you're kind of new to games. I'm like, yeah. oh, let's throw in Nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah. You know, Literally. let's go do Thunderstone Quest, you know. And <laughs> the hardest game I played at that time, you know, um, um, was Settlers of Catan. He pulls out Nemesis with all 2,000 pieces. Fully painted, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, that was pretty <laughs> impressive. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, why do I love this hobby? Um, as someone that suffers from mental illness, and I'm going to be open and honest about that, I, I have mental illness. And uh, PTSD, um, depression, hits me hard a lot. Um, games helps me fight through that because it brings together my family and I consider you guys family. I really Aww. do. Um, Heart. <laughs> it brings me together with family and I get to live out these experiences and, and uh, with RPGs I get to live out a different life. Um, with board games there's a million combinations of things that I can do that take me away and escape from the reality of what I deal with on a daily basis. Uh, I love games because I mean, they make me happy. Yeah. yeah, I have a tattoo right here. You probably can't see it, but it has a D10 and it says, roll your stealth to hide from the depression. And I f truly feel like games are a type of medicine for me. I mean, yeah. they make me feel good. Thank you, Joe. Jerome, I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 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 my sweet Gabby. Very nice. Um, 
Okay, so first question was, uh, who are you and what do you do? Um, I'm a wife, a fur mama, a makeup artist, a newly licensed real estate agent, and obviously a board game nerd. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I kind of like combine the two because I feel like I do what I am. So yeah, so I feel like that really just kind of describes me in a nutshell for yeah. the most part because I do do a lot of things too, kind of similar to what Jerome said, you know, kind of like uh what was it jack of all trades but a master at none yeah. you know i feel like all of us are like that yeah. like we always talk about how we're so good at so many things but we're not like we haven't yet mastered just one thing to be like you know a master at it good. Yeah, my yeah. makeup's pretty good. I think yeah. I'm, I think I've yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I would definitely say the makeup. Oh, thank I'm, you. <laughs> I'm gonna admit she did our makeup before we got. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, you yeah. know, just a little male yeah. grooming, male complexion. I look prettier know. than I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, YouTube videos. We need everybody needs makeup. You know. So I feel like, and I do feel like a lot of times makeup artists are underrated and underappreciated. Like people really don't know how much better quality a video or a photo, um, you know, will can come really out. Improve on yeah, that. it can really improve just from having your hair and makeup done. Like it really does make a huge difference. Um, so yeah, and I am a newly licensed real estate agent as well. So if you live in the state of Georgia, uh, you know, give me a Way give me a call. In, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, shameless plug. Why not? You know, but I don't know how many people are watching this. So, but hey, future business maybe. maybe. Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Let's let, let's work together. Um, so yeah, and then where do you live? Well, I did just mention that I live in Georgia. So I live in Conyers. Um, well, we live in Conyers. Uh, <laughs> oh, you um, live there, where I live. <laughs> We, do li we live in the same house, yes. Uh, we do sleep in the same bed, too. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we're both originally from <laughs> South Florida. Uh, we moved here about three and a half years ago. Um, Georgia has definitely has grown on us. Um, yeah, definitely. Still miss home sometimes, but... I don't. Um, well, I think I miss the culture and the food. Um, I mean, I speak for myself. I, I mean, I think you miss the food, at least. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> moving forward, um, so when did you discover board games? So, I discovered board games in spring 2015, which is when Nate and I really started like hanging out a lot after he got back from the Navy. Um, we The first game he showed me was Boss Monsters and also Legendary Marvel, and he showed me those games because he knew that that was something that I was already familiar with. Like I grew up playing like Super Nintendo and Game Boy, and you know, so I was familiar with those with the 8-bit, you know, yeah. like the classic 8-bit, and then also like I mean, who hasn't grown up with superheroes? So, you know, Marvel Legendary, obviously it was something I was very familiar with, so I felt like that was his way of gatewaying me <laughs> into board <laughs> games you know so um but yeah i mean he got me hooked with those and that's not like i haven't played board games before but it was like you know monopoly purchasey so it's not hobby board games but i yeah, did yeah. grow up playing those you know so it's not like i'm new to yeah there's playing. definitely it's just a, difference a between different between like hobby board gaming exactly, you know that's yeah. a yeah. whole nother level and a lot of people don't know that there is a difference between that so like sometimes like I feel like when we're explaining that we're board gamers to other people who don't know like we have to be like no like it's not Monopoly or Sorry yeah, or I've anything those, like I've that shirts, you know? like I'm a board gamer yeah. no not, it's not like Monopoly exactly. at all yeah <laughs> so um so yeah uh and then why do I love this hobby um honestly it's just a lot of fun um being able to explore the stories um that the games have well I guess given that they have a pretty good story um but you know also especially when it's a theme that you enjoy so like Nate he knows I love like Egyptian um culture ancient civilization, ancient civiliz ancient civilization yeah. yes in a nutshell yeah the mythology stuff so that's also a way that he helps um you know hook and reel me in to board gaming um so yeah so that's uh that's part of it and then also you know uh, the story time that you also get to have with your friends when you're at the table and you know I don't know how many times we just have random conversations about games we've played and crazy shit that happened and you know just laughing about it and you know it's just fun to create those memories and be able to look back and laugh and you know talk about how much of a good time we had and really it was just some paper on a table that you I know, know paper or cardboard makes paper so and happy. cardboard yeah <laughs> and I know it's crazy yeah, yeah. so it's like it's just pretty cool and then also because Nate and I are very artistic 
Um, I mean, as you guys know, I'm a makeup artist, so also I think painting minis, like, we really enjoy that, yeah. so, like, we paint minis, well, I mean, he paints the minis, <laughs> I will dabble once in a while, and I'll paint a couple here and there, I'll make my little cameo maybe appearances. Finish, maybe you finish one, yeah, you yeah but don't, <laughs> maybe I'll finish the tattoos on the Blood Rage uh, don't, don't, troll. Don't, don't, don't sell yourself short, because some of your minis are, are up there with his, I Thank mean, you. the, the, um, <laughs> the, the Hello. counselor from Nemesis, the, oh, yeah, she did good. Oh, my God. Yeah. Very clean, and, yeah. And, yeah. And you, uh, uh, Hella. Hella. Yeah, yeah Hella um, from Pro Crisis Mark Protocol. Yeah. Just amazing stuff. Thank you. And I did Shuri also, right? Yeah, yeah you did a couple of the Crisis Protocol Midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, I did a couple of those, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that pretty much wraps me up. So, Nathan? All right, cool. The floor is yours. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, so the first question is who you are. So I am a Star Wars, anime, Marvel, painter, board game nerd, obviously. Um, and, yep, so that's who I am. <laughs> um, also, what I do. So before uh, my current job, I used to be in the Navy. I was on a submarine and stationed in Hawaii. I was in Connecticut for two years, and then I uh, got stationed in Hawaii. Um, so... You know, it was very nice and very different weather than Connecticut. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but now um, I was able to get opportunity to work as a field service engineer. And basically I work on GE and MRI, or GE MRIs, uh, do preventative and corrective maintenance on those medical equipment. Mm -hmm. um, where I live, obviously I live here in Conyers with Gabby <laughs> in this house. Yeah, and we, and we actually really enjoy Georgia. Like, and we used to live in South Florida, and it's like... You couldn't really sit outside too much because it was just humidity and the mosquitoes and it was just hot. Miserable. You know, now we know we're out here enjoying mm -hmm. Georgia weather and drinking sweet tea and, you know, mm -hmm. staring at the backyard like old people, you know. <laughs> Watching the people golf in the back because we're on a golf course also. Yeah. So one of the holes is behind us. So we'll yeah, and, and people in Georgia are so much nicer too. You know, you yes. wave, they wave back, they say hello. So Yeah, yeah. And yeah. honestly, I mean, that's the reason we're filming outside tonight is just because mm -hmm. It's an amazingly beautiful night. Yeah. It's been so cold and so wet over the last month and a half, two yeah. months, that it has. it's been a beautiful day. And it's just like, mm -hmm. let's record outside. Mm -hmm. yep. so, I mean, absolutely. Like, yeah. Uh, so, uh, when did I discover board games? So, it's more like hobby board games. I actually discovered it around 2012. And it's funny because you always think military people are like, oh, I'm like this badass Joe, you know? No, they're a bunch of nerds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There were people playing Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, and I was like that closet nerd where I was like, I'm only going to play, I'm only going to play my barracks by myself with like one other person, and they can't tell nobody, you know, so it was kind of like that, and then my friend uh, Michael Fairchild showed me, I think it was like Frag, and then like Munchkin, and, um, and so that kind of got me into the hobby, you know, I played a little bit, didn't play for a couple years, then I showed some guys on the boat, and then we played back to back to back to back. Um, and then I got back out of the Navy, and since it was a six hour time difference, we used to play a lot of like Destiny 2, or Destiny on the PlayStation, but then, you know, I, I lost all my friends, six hour difference, that's huge. So yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I remember playing board games, so I looked up on, uh, what was it, Tabletop with Will Wheaton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, I tried to relearn how to play Munchkin or something, and then it rolled over to a new video of Dead of Winter, I was like... Boom, Dead of Winter. This game's awesome. The theme is great. I was a, you know, uh, you like zombies. I love zombies. Um, and I, you know, I was watching uh, Walking Dead. So I'm like, this is Walking Dead in a box. So I went to like a board game store and I was just shocked like how many board games were there. And then I was also shocked by the price, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like, thinking, yeah. oh yeah, you know, you know, when you buy Munchkins for like 15 bucks or yeah. 20 bucks, or you see Monopoly at Walmart for yeah. 15, 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll uh, go ahead and uh, jump on this. So I got it, uh, brought it home. My friend, and I didn't even have a table. And I was just, you know, came back and lived with my parents. And uh, my friend Abel and I, we just set it up on top of the bed. And we're like, huh, how do we play this? And we just sat there for hours and just reading the rule book and then going back and then trying to watch the, you know, tabletop. And like, oh, this didn't really explain anything too much. <laughs> so, yeah, so we learned how to play it. So. So the, to answer the question is, played in 2000, <laughs> 2012, jumped back into it in 2015, yeah. and I was hooked after that. Um, and then, I, and then like, I recently, and then uh, soon after I met Gabby, 
and taught her, you know, the little boss monsters or whatever the guys at the store is recommended. And, uh, yeah. And then why do I love this hobby? So, actually, I like this quote that I wrote. Because um, uh, I posted, like, in a, in a financial group kind of thing. And, um, hold on, see, it didn't save again. Okay, so, um, I said... So I'm gonna ask, you know, what is what is this that you have? Cause I showed a picture of like my board games, you know, just cause board gamers talk about board games and and that. Um, I said it's a million of stories created around a table and joined with laughter around family and friends, also known as board games. So that always, you know, that's how I personally feel. I love the interaction with people since this is such a digital world. Yeah. You know, everyone's just texting and online gaming, but in this their is in their the phones. Time. Yep. And it's just really nice to sit around a table with friends and laugh and just enjoy the experiences. You know, even if the game is good or bad, you know, you just laugh because the game is so bad, you know, or mm -hmm. or something like that, or something happens. It's just, it's good times. And, you know, we just remember all those experiences, you know. I had gaming convention where my friend and I, we were Dice Tower Con, we played games 48 hours straight. And oh, really? the game that, like, put us out was Root. We were just trying to learn Root, and we are just like, <laughs> and my friend was like, "All right, let's go. Let's go to bed. It's it's too many games. We're done." And shout uh, out to Travis. Yeah, right. And uh, and that's the day we learned about GPS. And GPS is games per second. Mm -hmm. So we just stayed up and just play as many games as possible because we want to, you know, you know, if we paid for Dice Arcana, we wanna, you know, use it and abuse it. I guess. Literally get every penny's worth. <laughs> yeah, get a money's worth. That's what I was yeah. looking for. Yeah. And that's yep. that's one of the best times I had. And you know, I've only been to a couple of conventions, but you and I went to um, Meeple Madness. They had a 24-hour yep. gaming thon, and I had to work the day before, so <laughs> I I was up at like uh, 8 a.m. and didn't go to bed for 48 hours. Yep. You know, it was a 24-hour gaming marathon, but I was up for 48 hours. We gamed 24 hours there and then drove back here and we played another six, eight hours. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, just... Oh, it was insane, yeah. Yeah, it was great. You know, I think as older as we get, we're like, this was a terrible idea, but will we do it again? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And it, I mean, to the point that we like gaming so much that we're currently planning a week's vacation. Yeah. Where game are we vacation. going? Nowhere. We're staying here. <laughs> we're going to play board games all week. It's a gamecation for us. Mm -hmm. Gamecation, yeah. I like so, that title. Yeah. Cute title. Yeah, Jerome, he came up with gamecation. I'm like, you know what? That works. That's, That's perfect. perfect. That's, mm -hmm. It explains it perfect. Yep. So, um, yeah, we just want to do a quick video, you know, tell us a little bit who we are besides, you know, our top, our top 30. Yeah, I mean, because mm -hmm. that's that's a good way to get to know what we like, but it doesn't really explain who we are. And I think it, it's good that we did our top 30 and then did a like an introduction because yeah. it's like now they kind of see where we're coming from. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yep. So just expect we're going to do uh, videos probably every two weeks and then we might do... We're coming up with ideas right now, mm -hmm. and we have game plans. It's just, you know, time restraints and us being adults. Yeah, with three different completely schedules with jobs and stuff, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we're making it work. Let us know what, what kind of videos you would like to see as well, you know. Yeah. There's, yeah. Um, we we want to do uh, a review for Bloodborne, the board game, because we've yep. just finished two campaigns, so we want to do a review for that. We want to get into reviews. Um, myself, I wouldn't mind doing solo plays, yep. because uh, Nate travels a lot, so sometimes I don't really have the chance to play as many board games, so I play solo sometimes, so I want to do yep. playthroughs with solo as well as playthroughs with all of us but mm -hmm. if there's anything else you would like to see from us let us know in the comments yeah, yeah. definitely perfect thanks so much guys take care bye